Politeness often comes from fear and deference, but kindness is always the good, you know, the correct thing to do. So like it costs nothing to be kind. And especially if you're coming from a place of, of privilege, whether it be positional privilege or age privilege or monetary privilege, you know, like there's no value in me hollering at the guy that's bagging my groceries. Like in no scenario, is there anything that he can do that would cause me to yell at that person because they're having a bum day? Someone might say that that's a weak perspective or, you know, well, they should be doing their job. Like, just, these are all humans. So I'm constantly reminding myself multiple times a day, why are we doing this? Whether whether we are firefighters or zookeepers or the guy that bags groceries or whether we're software engineers at Microsoft, if we're not helping humans do better, then what is all this crap for? You could probably apply this to so many things in life, right? Like there's so much pressure we put on ourselves that we have to make this decision at this time. We have to know what we're doing next. But if you kind of just let yourself follow the process, those things kind of fall in place over time, right? And I mean, even when I was at the stage where I had gotten into some programs mm -hmm. and I was still waiting to hear back from others, I was still kind of like thinking about mm. whether I should do this, mm. yeah. right? I think the decision was a lot easier after I got into Harvard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm completely honest with you. Because <laughs> like, like that, yeah. Because I mean, that's like a, you know, a total privilege, an amazing opportunity, right? But, you know, until, and I think you would, you would find that feeling if you found an opportunity and that like spoke to you right. or you felt like you couldn't pass up. I, I think it's wonderful that we're in a very inclusive space right now where someone can be, can, can have a YouTube that has like their makeup haul and the next one can be like learning Python. Like that is and should be completely a thing. Uh, in fact, on my desk right here, I have all these things that inspire me because I want to make my space inspirational for myself. I have fabulous Batman. For folks that are listening to the podcast, I'm holding up a Lego man who is pink. He is Batman. He has a ballerina uh, outfit on and a fairy and fairy wings, and he's a ninja because he's got dual katanas. That's who you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be a whole person with diverse interests because he's a ninja. He's Batman. He's a ballerina. He's fairy. He's freaking Batman, right? So next to that, I have the Swiss Army knife that my father gave me when I was 12. And the Swiss Army knife is funny because it's really mediocre at a million things, right? It's a lousy pair of scissors and it's kind of a mediocre saw, but it is diverse in its interests. And I try to do that. So I would encourage people to be what are called T-shaped developers, have a broad series of opportunities and things that you're interested in, and then go deep on one area. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to, to do what other people are doing. I think it's easy to, you know, you have goals for yourself, but they should be goals for yourself and not, you know, because X person is doing, you know, whatever they may do, be doing. Um, live your life by your rules, by your standards, as you were saying, and, you know, those may be different for you than what they are for your friends or your family. Um, and just make sure you're clear on that. Take time to, you know, reflect on what matters to you. Uh, make sure you're taking steps to reflect what matters to you in your everyday actions.